I hold over 2,000 world records. Liar! Down goes Todd Rogers, and he got absolutely destroyed. Not only has Twin Galaxies removed his dragster time from the leaderboards, they removed all of his scores, they banned him from their website, and Kotaku contacted Guinness who has confirmed that his Guinness world record has been revoked as well. The good news is, Todd has now broken his first world record, so I'd like to award him with the very first Apollo Legends certified world record for becoming the biggest cheater in gaming history. Just email me an address and I will mail this certificate to you. The funny thing is that Twin Galaxies has known Todd as a giant cheater for years, but have refused to do anything about it until now. Even after his dispute was filed against Todd's dragster time, they continued to drag it out for months, saying they weren't going to make a decision until March 1st, even though the correct answer was obvious. But then within a week of my video, I guess the pressure was too much, and they came out of nowhere with this ban. So thank you Twin Galaxies for finally doing something. But in my opinion, this is still a big loss for Twin Galaxies. I'm definitely taking partial credit for getting Todd removed because of how quickly it happened after posting my video. But that's only because of how much attention it got, and I think Twin Galaxies felt embarrassed to not do anything about it. But nearly everything I showed in that video was already public information, and Twin Galaxies had known this for months to years. When Omnigamer posted his spreadsheet proving that Todd's time was impossible, that should have been it for him. But instead they completely dismissed it until some random dude on YouTube compiled all the information for them and they couldn't ignore it anymore. I talked about this briefly on Drama Alert, which you should go watch, but I'll say it again. These guys at Twin Galaxies are supposed to be the leaders. These are the guys who are qualified and have the responsibility to say which claims are true and which aren't true. But in the case of Todd Rogers, the evidence had to become so obvious and the outside pressure so overwhelming that they were finally dragged to the right position. That's not leadership. You guys should have been on this before anyone else. But instead, they were nearly the last ones to admit what everyone else had already figured out. One interesting theory I saw was that perhaps they were dragging this whole thing out on purpose. Here are the web traffic stats for Twin Galaxy since June. Look at how much their page views have increased since this whole Todd controversy started. So perhaps this was strategic to keep their views up, but they let it go way too long, and now that it's over, I'm pretty sure they're going to see their page views take a nosedive, but we'll see. What I'm sure everyone wants to know is what Todd thinks about this whole thing, and you will not believe this. Actually, this is Todd, so you will. This guy, after getting exposed in a hundred different ways as a fraud, getting banned from Twin Galaxies, and losing his Guinness World Record, still claims he did nothing wrong. Absolutely legendary. As many of you know, Twin Galaxies has made the decision to ban me from their database. Although I disagree with their decision, I must applaud them for their strong stance on the matter of cheating. For too long, gamers tried to cheat the system and achieve recognition for scores they did not actually make. Oh my god, who would do such a thing? This is something I came across numerous times while serving as a Twin Galaxies referee. Yeah, you did. I have always maintained that stronger testing and punishment was needed for those trying to manipulate the system, perhaps even requiring live performances on more questionable scores. Many have asked my opinion on Omnigamer and the results of his findings. I have refrained from speaking about him for the most part, which I will explain shortly, but I thought this would be a good time to clear up any assumptions that have been made. My opinion on Omni himself is a mixed one. On one hand, I have respect for what he represents. Change in how we address controversial scores, the ability to fact check based on data is something I hope to see grow. Everyone should be able to compete on a level playing field, and the results should be based on skill alone. I do, however, question Omnigamer's motives and how he went about his efforts. Not once was there any attempt on his part to contact me or question me on my methods. Instead, he chose to use bits and pieces of interviews I have done on my shifting patterns and use them as factual evidence of how I play without ever actually seeing me play in person. I'm not a hard person to reach. My phone number, email, and Facebook are easy to obtain, and I don't recall anyone having trouble contacting me. This is just precious. He's mad that Omnigamer didn't contact him before analyzing the code of the game. But what's hilarious is I contacted him before making my video and he didn't want to do an interview because he didn't trust me. And then he started trying to make me feel bad by telling me about his family. This guy will say absolutely anything to make himself look good and his opponents look bad. He doesn't use words as a way to convey his thoughts and opinions. He uses them as a tool to manipulate people. To me, it's an act of cowardice when you choose to call someone out but refuse to speak to them man to man. If you feel I cheated or think I'm a fraud, say it to my face, which is exactly what I wanted to do. In my opinion, he has only gone about this matter the way he has to draw interest in his book, which he has shamelessly promoted throughout this argument. Hey, by the way, be sure to go check out Omnigamer's book. The link is in the description. 
What many may or may not know is there were plans for me to play live and attempt to replicate my dragster record. At first I embraced the challenge and looked forward to proving my score legitimate. I remained silent on the matter, as I believed that in this situation actions would speak louder than words. I began practicing during this time to get my timing right, and although a 5.51 was not achieved, I was feeling good about my chances of tying my score. What made me sour on doing such an event, and ultimately cancel it, was a reaction from the gaming community. Insults began littering my personal Facebook page, degrading remarks filled my PMs and emails. Even my family was being harassed for being associated with me. I began to wonder, who was I really trying to satisfy with my record attempt? If you wish to call me a cheat, a fraud, etc., you have every right to until you see evidence that says otherwise. Seeing is believing. But when the remarks became personal and my friends and family are dragged into this mire, it is no longer about gaming. People are wishing ill upon me and my family over what? A high score on a video game? If that is what the gaming community has become, then despite my love for video games and all my contributions and experience to help the scene grow by playing live at events and supporting the community, it is not worth jeopardizing my personal life and family outside of gaming. Okay, I believe nothing this guy says, so I'm calling BS on that story. But look how he starts off by saying he can redo it. And then just like in his email to me, he starts hiding behind his poor family as an excuse to not provide proof and trying to shame all his critics into backing off. Dude, I don't even need you to redo the time. Just show me that you can start the race in second gear like you said you could. My name is Todd Rogers, the king of video games. I hold a record in Dragster since December 1st, 1980. I beat a uh, perfect run of Dragster, which was uh, the run of a, of a computer of a 554. I attained a 551 because I engaged so much on the countdown and gave my, my, my Dragster gas. Show me one race of you starting in second gear. But of course, he stopped repeating that lie now that it's been proven impossible. All right, quick update for you guys. As I was editing this video, I got that clip from one of Todd's interviews from one of Easyscape's videos. And I went to go find the original interview so I could link it in the description, but it turns out that interview has been removed from YouTube. I don't know if this is Todd's doing or what, but I do find it really curious that now I can't find any videos of him saying he started in second gear other than Easyscape's video. Because I know for a fact I heard him say that multiple times and now I can't find the videos. Alright, that's all. What I've noticed with Todd is he will argue his points until someone proves them as complete lies, and then he just stops talking about them and pretends he never said it and he ignores so much in this post, that should really tell you something. All right, let's wrap this up. Gaming is meant to be fun. The competitive aspect of it should be used to bring people together in the pursuit of a common goal, not tear down friendships and communities. Who I am and what I have done with my life will not be defined by a score that I produced live that others do not believe because they were not there. For those of you who have shown me unwavering support over the last few months, thank you. I will continue to play games I enjoy, and have fun doing so. After all, isn't that what gaming is all about? Jesus, dude. He is so above the fray, isn't he? He's an honorable gamer who plays for fun. What's wrong with you people? Just let the man cheat in peace. He completely ignores every piece of evidence that proves he's a cheater, and instead pretends he's being the bigger man in this situation. God, this guy's awesome. And then look at the responses to his posts. I cannot find the words to express my sorrow for you, my anger at those who did this to you, and what I hope is the reward for this travesty. This was such a bad decision. You stand as an example of great skill, classy contributions, unjust treatment, as well as a victim of mob mentality. I stand alongside you, my friend. Dignity and class, as always, Todd. I've seen you play various games many times live, and in that context, nobody can possibly doubt your huge skills. Stay strong. I am so sorry what happened to you. It pisses me off that this company would involve family and friends in a threatening way. I stand by you and know your scores are legit. Your statement was well done, my friend. And now this is my favorite piece of evidence by far. Look at this comment left on Reddit. This one's for my friends and haters. Seriously, Todd Rogers, the king of video games. Okay, I totally forgot about this until now, but I talked to the former head referee at Twin Galaxies, and he told me that Todd gave himself that nickname, the king of video games. Like, who would look at this guy and say, wow, this is the king of video games? Obviously, he gave that name to himself. But okay, but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look at the picture. Oh my god, he got a 5.51. We were all wrong. This guy is really that good until approximately half a second later when he got exposed as posting a photoshopped image that's 10 years old. I do need to give one caveat. 
We don't know for certain that this was really Todd. This could be someone messing with us. But I spoke with multiple Twin Galaxies employees who said that this is exactly how Todd writes. This this tag Todd Rogers 64 is the same name he uses for his email and Twitter and everywhere else. Also, this image is super hard to find on Google. So if this was a troll, it was really well done. It's still possible though. I'm pretty convinced that this was from Todd, but take it for what it is. Either way, he's a massive fraud, no doubt about it. So that's the end of that, I guess. Todd has been completely discredited. There are stories about him everywhere in the media about how he's a liar. But in classic Todd fashion, he's taken this lie to the grave no matter what. But wait, there's still more. After my last video about Todd, I was contacted by multiple inside sources who gave me hordes of information, which shows that the corruption at Twin Galaxies actually goes even further if you can believe it. So what do you guys think? Should we see how deep this rabbit hole goes, or has this been enough? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace.